Red Dead Online's new Hired Loyalty Bodyguard Telegram missions have just released this week, and while I think it took players by surprise because we didn't see them in August or September, so it was nice to know that we were getting new content for this October, and when we learned about the news on Monday, about 12 hours or so before the monthly update actually went live, of course, it was nice to discuss that in the news preview video, but of course, if you've played them since Tuesday, you know they just absolutely suck. They're garbage. They're complete trash. They're buggy. There's a complete lack of actual animations during the missions. You're wandering around just helping a basically helpless person for each of these three missions. And while a lot of players think that the Telegram missions in Red Dead Online are not that good to begin with, these new three higher loyalty missions compared to any of the other Telegram bundles we received, these are truly a zero out of 10 experience. And you're gonna see that in this video here today where we play through the first one in defense of mercy. So hopefully you guys enjoy. I think you're gonna get a kick out of it. Honestly, don't take it too seriously. Just have fun with what we got, but what we got is absolute trash. So just laugh at that and go back to what you normally do in Red Dead Online. So with that being said, let's jump in. This is it, in defense of mercy, ruthless difficulty. You guys will see how hilarious this mission is. It would still be my first time going through Easy Prey and Night on the Town, but so far while I'm streaming, we've done in defense of mercy on hard difficulty because I did it on standard earlier today. And it was just as good going through the second time. These missions are so bad that they're actually funny to play through because they're just pathetic. They were truly made, like it's not hyperbole to say that these were made in one weekend by an intern, by one single person and he was probably shoved away in some back janitorial closet. No one even knew he was working on this. Rockstar may not have even wanted to add any telegrams to the game this year, but someone thought of the community and decided to make these missions, and you will see the quality of these telegram missions already. People will say they're not exciting, they're not fun, they're boring, that's not what they want to see, it's not new content, etc., etc., etc. All the all the tropes that the telegrams have, and all the stereotypes that the telegram missions have in this game, but you will see how hilariously bad these missions are. Enemies don't move, enemies don't talk, they don't shoot back, they don't take cover. Cutscenes have no dialogue. The mission soft locks if you go against the requirements and the actual mission prompts themselves. It's hilarious. So, basically, the narrative synopsis of this mission is there is like some rich philanthropic lady that we need to protect. All these missions involve you protecting people. We're gonna go to Blackwater and basically Go on a little adventure with her all around West Elizabeth while she gives money to homeless people, helps them out on wagons, things like that. And then she gets kidnapped a little bit later and you will see all this culminate in a hilarious finale with an absolutely laughable cutscene where our character and her are just staring blankly at enemies that are trying to kidnap her. So with that being said, let's protect this client. We're first gonna go down there to Blackwater. So first we arrive at our first destination, which is these two homeless dudes hanging out outside the Blackwater bank here. What is this? No, not the bank. The, it's the Blackwater sign. What is this? The hotel and restaurant. But either way, she's gonna give money to these guys. So you don't have to worry about any enemies spawning here. We're gonna head to the saloon next, which is where you need to start watching out for what happens. Now, before we arrive at the Blackwater saloon here, I should mention that these missions are time-based, but just like the Rough Justice missions that released last year, they're reverse time-based, so this is like some of the content in this game where the faster you complete them, that will ensure your highest reward. You don't need to worry about these NPCs moving really slowly, that's all factored into the mission. You just don't want to take a super long time to complete them, unlike other content, which is usually what I recommend, because you'll actually get less money. You'll still get, you know, time-based gold, but you'll actually get less money for this mission. So, when it comes to this, this guy's gonna pickpocket her. Here's our first little goof. He, he, there's no animation, he just walks by her and somehow he pickpockets her. I don't even know what he takes off her person. But now she's like, you bring my stuff right back. And you gotta kill this guy, take him down, and we need to collect this stuff from the thief. She's gonna hop back into the wagon. Next stop, we're going over to the post office. And this is when the mission just gets more strange because you can see all these fine gentlemen just loitering, hanging out outside the post office. They look like normal NPCs. I was very surprised the first time I played through this. These are not normal NPCs. And you will see what happens when she tries to get her mail. She doesn't even have pockets. Yo, true. <laughs> she doesn't even have pockets, you're right. Now I'm pointing out all these enemies because they're gonna attack you, but don't jump the gun and shoot them because you'll get a wanted level and what that's gonna do is actually soft lock you from the mission and you can't even proceed because then the game will tell you you need to protect the client while losing the law. How do you lose the law? You run far away out of like the wanted level zone out of their field of view. But if you do that, you'll fail the mission because you're getting, you're gonna get too far from this lady you're supposed to protect. 
So you'll need to actually kill yourself and actually like restart the mission or just respawn. You'll still have a wanted level on you, but if you're on Ruthless difficulty and you only have one life, then the mission is insta fail because you you can't escape the wanted level. You can't, and the mission you know she won't actually move anywhere. She'll just stay in one place. So you're actually, I wouldn't even say that's soft locked at that at that point. You're just hard locked and you need to restart. So once you dispatch all those enemies, you gotta collect the mail. Another reason, basically, look how bad these missions are when, you know, Red Dead has good animations, right? When you pick up an envelope in story mode, you see Arthur reach for the envelope and pick it up. Same thing in online, your character has those animations. The one guy who worked on these missions didn't even include that in these missions. Look, we're gonna collect this letter. Poof, disappear. You know, not that big of a deal. That's normally what you see in a video game. They don't have an animation for you picking up an envelope if that's part of it. But in this game, that is absolutely a thing. And it's not a thing in these missions anymore. They just <laughs> did not program and insert those into the mission. So that's another massive fail. But now we're moving on. We're gonna move out of Blackwater and over towards Quaker's Cove to the next section. So here we are with the next segment. Now check this out, right? These guys need help with their wagon. It's broken down, they're repairing the wagon wheel. But look at this, why is this guy in a bush right here? Why is he in a bush? Why is this guy in a bush? There's other people in bushes too, and there's a guy in a bush here. You know why? Because it's a setup. And these guys are about to get robbed. <laughs> so, whoever designed these missions, just, just spawn people in the bush, and that was it. They don't even move from said bush. They will just stand there and shoot at you. That's. 100% the only thing they're programmed to do. They won't move. They will just stand there and shoot until they die. I love these missions, man. These missions, you can't be mad for Rockstar, or at Rockstar for adding in these missions. They are so bad that they're good. You have to just sit here and laugh, otherwise you'll go insane. Now here we are. This isn't the final point of the mission. This is the second to last spot you'll go to. The wagon's freaking out. This cutscene is hilarious. This lady's out of breath in this cutscene, too. This- this'll happen. She'll be, like, panting out of breath. Same with my character. She's, like, limping, too. What's wrong with her? No facial animations, no words spoken, no dialogue, nothing. Our characters will just stand there, not moving. And they will just stare. And she lets herself get kidnapped. And that's it. My guy's not reacting, he's just standing right there. The first time I played through this, he was T-posing in this cutscene. And that's it. And now our job is to go help this lady who was just kidnapped, but we don't know where she went, right? So we gotta kill everyone, and then search for some clues. Just wanna make sure you kill everyone on the docks. There's just gonna be really no one else that spawns here, I don't think. The enemies that you see on the map are the only ones that spawn here. Surprisingly, we're playing on Ruthless difficulty. These guys shouldn't be appearing on the minimap, but I wouldn't put it past the one guy who designed this mission that ever- since everything else is buggy and glitched out, this will be too. So now once you clear out the area, they say to search for clues to find the client. Once again, you just want to head back into this shack. This is where the envelope is going to be. Once again, no animation. You just pick it up when you press the button prompt. And now we need to go to Thieves Landing, and this is where we're going to get the queen back. All right, now we've arrived here at Thieves Landing. Once again, what you'll find is enemies all spread out around this place. And you will see as we go through, none of them move. None of them are programmed to move. None of them are programmed to take cover. They are simply just shoot backers is what they are. They just shoot back at you, and that's it. They stand still. So, you don't got to worry about dying unless you're just so bad at the game where getting shot once will kill you because you don't have any ability cards upgraded or anything like that. What I like to do is take those guys out on the perimeter, work through here. There's a couple more on the docks. The lady that we need to rescue is over on the boat to the left, just off screen, so... Probably be a good idea just to take out all the NPCs first, so no one's damaging you while you're trying to release her from the lasso that she's hogtied with. There's a couple more, and more will spawn later on, like that guy out there. There's two more guys on the boat, so just kill them. We can cut her free, and these are the last few enemies that we actually need to clear out from this mission. Once again, they're just gonna spawn in random places. It's like this guy's way out outside along the water. 
once again, none of them move. It's a big departure from previous missions we've seen in this game. Like, you'll see this theme throughout the other videos I upload later of the other missions, I'm sure. The Telegram missions arguably are not super exciting for many players, but these are truly the worst ones in terms of quality we've ever seen because they're buggy. The quality of them is just bad. They're not good missions. If these missions worked as intended, they'd still be the worst telegrams we've ever seen. Still not good missions, but with all the just hilarious bugs and issues with these, you just can't help but laugh while you play these. And this is now my third time in a row basically going through. So we're gonna kill this last guy out here, which I'm aiming at my horse. I can't actually lock onto him. Where is he? Now you need to go back to the lady over here. So I'm just gonna run back on my horse. We'll pick her up and hopefully as long as you didn't waste too much time on these missions, you just kill the enemies and that's it. You should get the highest reward. Gold isn't affected, but money is. So say if you took too long, your money payout for this mission would actually go down over time, which is opposite to how the actual official payout structure of this game works. But Rockstar, I guess, is experimenting with that with these telegrams. So you'll see that with the Rough Justice ones as well as these hired loyalty bodyguard telegram missions. So just bring this lady back to her wagon and it says the client was returned later than she would have liked. I guess it took us a little bit too long. So we actually didn't get the highest reward for that mission right there. So I messed up, funny enough. On standard and hard, we got the highest reward, but that time I guess we got the second highest payout. Nonetheless, don't be like me. Don't take too long on these missions. And that is it. So 72 gold nuggets for the double gold this month, which if you're trying to farm the telegram missions for that double gold, it's not a bad idea. And something I noticed if we try and play through these again is there's a five minute cooldown. When I just played this on hard and we unlocked Ruthless Difficulty, there was no cooldown. So maybe as you're ranking up Easy Prey, Knight on the Town, In Defense of Mercy, things like that, there's no cooldown until you get to Ruthless Difficulty. I'm not quite too sure how it works. That is what it is. So that's the mission. We're going to come out with a video on Easy Prey once I get that up to Ruthless this week. Same with Knight on the Town. Let me know what you guys think of these telegrams. Like I said, I think these are the worst ones we've ever seen in the game. They would be the worst ones anyway if they worked as intended, but you could see the quality without dialogue and character animations and fluidity to the movement of NPCs and them not taking cover. Some of these guys don't even shoot at you. They just stand still and aim in one direction and shoot in that direction. It doesn't matter if you're behind them, to the side of them, whatever. They won't even turn to look at you. So really funny. Highly recommend you guys check them out this week while they are on Double Gold or this month while they're on Double Gold. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Check me out over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram if you want to see more GTA Online and Red Dead Online content outside of YouTube. I'm actually recording this while I'm live streaming right now, so it would be good to have you guys check out the Twitch streams and join that community over on there. Again, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, all have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios, amigos.